bunch of booze. It may actually triggered me a picture of you. And I was going through some different things for our interview. <laughs> uh, the Eagle Super Bowl parade. What was that like? Oh, dude. One of the, so the Super Bowl is really cool. You know, obviously not many people get to do it. One of the best things you'll ever get to experience as an athlete winning any championship is obviously really fun and really cool. And that's why you play the sport, but bro, like the parade is on a whole nother level like that. When people ask me like, what was my favorite part about that year? Uh, number one was like the guys that we did it with, but like number two, a close second was like, dude, that parade was out of this world, man. Just so much fun. The city did it right. I mean, they were starving for a football championship. Dude, they haven't won one. They never won a Super Bowl, but they won a championship, you know, way, way, way back. And so just to be able to do that um, in that city, bro, they deserved it. The way we did it was really cool, you know, as well. But there's so many factors that, I mean, the way we did it, the guys we had, the city, the no, no championships, like, you know, all of that just blends in, you know, and it, it just makes the story, you know, so much cooler. Um, and yeah, dude, great time. Uh, probably the, my favorite Philly moment ever. Um, and you, you just couldn't, you can't replicate it. You can't beat it. I remember that morning I woke up at four because I was training at Temple and they were shutting streets down for the parade. So I'm like, oh man. So I got the Temple yeah. at like 6 a.m. and and trained till like seven or eight and then got out of Dodge because it was just chaos. And I got home and that's right when Selleck was on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> you had a good or one Jason going. Or Jason Kelsey. Either or way. Kelsey too. Yeah. Who, who got the most banged up? Oh, dude. So... I, bro, Selleck is one of my favorite people ever, right? Favorite people. So the tight ends were all – I think the running backs might have been as well, but I know – no, I think it was just tight ends. Who was your tight end room that year? It's a pretty good room. Dude, unbelievable room. So started up, started at top with a coach, Justin Peel. Great guy, phenomenal coach. Um, I think it was his, like his first or second year as being like an actual tight end coach. He played 10 years in the league. He's like the epitome of a, of a meathead. Like he wants you to run through – Every person, no matter – Adama can sue. Like, he wants – either one of us, and we have no business running through Adama can sue. Like, I would, I'll stay far away. You know what I mean? He wants you to do that. If you don't do that, he's going to yell at you. But phenomenal coach, right? We all really enjoyed being with him. Then you have Brent Selleck, the vet. I think he was on year 10, maybe 11 that year. He retired the following year. Um, Philly legend, you know, the best tight end to ever play in Philly. Um, and then you got Zach Ertz underneath him, who I well now, I mean, those are one and two, you know, who are, whatever yeah. you want to say, you can say one guy, I'll say the other guy, like whatever. They're both top two tight ends ever playing Philly. Um, then you had me um, and a, a guy named uh, Billy Brown was there. Uh, I don't know, but it was just us three, me, Zach, and, uh, okay. and Selleck. So, so it was just really three three that, good. okay, wow, that's cool. Yeah. That's rare. Like that's a, that's a lean group. I mean, you guys are all really yeah. good, so that helps a lot, but. Rooms are a little yeah, bit so that, bigger. Yes, that was our group, bro. And we were all on the bus together. And, like, I'll never forget, like, Selleck was so banged up. Well, at first, yeah, Billy was there because Billy was in charge of bringing beers onto the bus, right? And so, like, what people don't realize is that they were telling us the parade's going to be two hours long, right? You, you get on the bus at 10 o'clock, you're back by 12 at the latest. Bro, we didn't get back until, like, 545 that afternoon. Like, it was literally, like, a five, six, five, six seven-hour parade which obviously made it so much so much more fun but billy's in charge of bringing the beers you know and so billy gets there he has like a like a 12 pack of beers <laughs> like, billy there's four of us four this four guys not even including the women you know what i mean four guys and you bring in you bring in 12 beers for a two hour supposedly two hour you know uh you should have 12 uh, cases celebration <laughs> yes and so i'm thinking to myself like we're not gonna have enough beer like this is gonna be bad and i'm not a beer drinker but like whatever i'll, I'll do it you know dude I don't even know if we we might have drank one beer from Billy and we were drinking whatever people were throwing at us. And I, I can't chug. I couldn't chug it. If you told me I'll give you $100,000 right now to drink a beer in less than five seconds, I couldn't do it. I, honestly, I'll try as hard as I could, but I can't do it. Bro, we were downing beers, bro. And they were freaking throwing beers. We're chugging them. Uh, they're throwing the, the little liquor, uh, uh, little I don't know what they are. They're not pints, but the small. The little one yeah. shots, yeah. yeah one yeah. shot, one shooters, bro. And you're just shooting them and, and beer and shooting them. And you're like, you look, as soon as you look to the crowd, a beer is coming. You look the other way, a beer is coming, bro. Like we're catching beers and making sure they're not hitting the ladies and like hitting ourselves. And uh, we had no shortage of whatever you could ever imagine during that time. So, but so to say all that, Selig was banged up, bro. And I, I, I was telling Selig, bro, you don't gotta, you don't gotta speak. He's like, no, 
I got to do it for the city. I'm like, bro, like, you don't got to do it, bro. Like, it's not that big of a deal. He's like, no, I got I'm, I'm trying to try and talk him off the cliff. And But long story short, he ends up doing it. Phenomenal speech. You know, obviously a legend in Philly. But what a great time, man. Great, great event. And uh, it was really, really cool to be a part of. What an event. I remember seeing it on TV like, man, this is this is what you got to do. This is the dude doing it bro and probably like, and guys would get off the off the trolley and they would walk in like they would literally walk miles and like high five and fans and like being a part of and like brother philly fans love that stuff dude it was just and as far as your eye could see like literally no no joking no exaggeration like as soon as you get to center city like you're going around uh, uh city, hall. city hall yeah going around city hall and bro as far as you can see is people it's going nuts and it's a great time yeah, because you're looking down you're going down broad street and you're yeah. looking east and west and they're just piles of people yeah you hit broad street and it's a, it's a roundabout but we went the opposite way because everything obviously everything's closed off so we go you we take a left. left as soon as we hit city city hall yeah, yeah. and to go to the rocky steps and uh it was cool man unbelievable event they did, they did the right they did a really good job